This is the third and final video on the Ruger Mini 14, covering my efforts to improve the accuracy and to generally have some fun. So let's go back a bit to understand the Mini, why I have it in my collection, acceptable accuracy from it and other semi-autos, the results of my accuracy improvement efforts, and its future. 1973, that's 50 years ago, the same year the ATM was patented, the last of the American troops were withdrawn from Vietnam. Fifty years of being in magazines, TV shows, movies, police departments, and military forces around the world, and other forms of pop culture. From IMFDB, variants of the Mini-14 have appeared to 121 movies, 30 television series, and 18 video games. I was flooded with images of it as a young skull full of mush. We should not judge the Mini with today's present-mindedness. That's the pernicious practice of judging yesterday's item by today's standards, it disregards professional methodology, is arrogant, and ultimately dishonest. This iconic firearm is from 1973. Acceptable accuracies vary by platform, cost, and purposeful intent. An AK variant is never going to match F-Class performance at F-Class distances. But the F-Class rifle is never going to match the AK's ability to mindlessly punch holes in trash heaps. Each has a place purpose, and grin factor. ARs typically have an accuracy in the 1 to 2 MOA range, but 3 to 4 MOA isn't uncommon. AKs are normally around 3 to 4, but 4 to 5 isn't uncommon, and SKSs are about the same as AKs. This specific Mini was built before Ruger worked to improve the accuracy. This 22-year-old Mini gave me 3.76 MOA as built and sold by Ruger across 10 different ammo offerings. The performance of this rifle matched what is normally seen in AKs and acceptable in AKs. Putting 3 to 4 MOA values into a 300 yard perspective, that's 9.4 inches to 12.5 inches. The rifle also had erratic flyers, errant rounds that could not be explained. The holds were solid, the trigger squeezes were consistent, the sight alignment with target was on, and yet the occasional flyer. That was my starting point. The use I had intended for this rifle was as a hunting rifle for the boys. They could use it to take raccoons, coyotes, deer, hogs, between 40 and 75 yards. Those were the distances they would typically have game in front of them from a couple of our different blinds. The 3-4 to four MOA and those flyers made me lose enough faith in the rifle that it went back in the safe. My acceptable accuracy was different than what the rifle could produce. A little while later I came up with this project, improve the accuracy and have some fun. The Mini 14 started out with 3.76 MOA. And that is the stainless steel Mini with the black plastic stock and John Mason long flash hider, all from Ruger. The serial number was in the 196 range, which placed the manufacturer and shipping in 2000. To get to that 3.76 MOA number, I shot 10 different ammo offerings. The rifle was rested on a sturdy bench, the front of the stock supported by foam blocks, the rear of the rifle supported by a squeeze bag, three shot groups with a barrel cooler in between each string. I know three shots does not make a full potential pitcher, but that was sufficient for me. After this baseline of the stock mini was captured, I installed the MoRod from Sunflower Outdoor Sports. It cost me $122. I repeated the same testing. Three shots, 10 different ammo offerings, fully supported, barrel cooler between each string. MOA went from 3.76 to 3.02. This modification resulted in the single largest reduction in group sizes across the efforts I took. I have nothing but praise for the MoRod. Not only does it work, it also makes the Mini look more like its big brother, the M14. Next, I replaced the recoil spring with a Wolf brand high power spring and a smaller gas port from Accuracy Systems. MOA went from 3.02 to 2.95. The accuracy improvement was slight, but ejection became less violent. And at this point, the flyers became much more apparent and were unexplainable from my perspective. Gunblue490 had a video where he bedded the Mini's plastic stock. Then he replaced the plastic stock with a wooden one. His groups improved with the wooden one, and that was what he settled in on. Finally, my last efforts with this Mini, I replaced the black plastic stock with a wooden one. 
I repeated the testing. I no longer had any flyers in my groups across the 10 different MO offerings. MOA average went from 2.95 to 2.41. I shot this on a really hot morning. It had been brutal in Texas the second to last week of June. From start to finish, the improvement was 1.35 MOA. That's a 4.2 inch improvement at 300 yards. I had quite a few groups that were right at 2 MOA. 22 years old and the accuracy has been improved. Remember those 50 years of the mini being in movies, TV shows, magazines, and other forms of pop culture? I said I wanted to have fun with this gun, and now I've done it. The wooden stock I chose was the Samson A-Team in stainless. All those movie and TV scenes resulted in this. The argument that forms of pop culture don't influence youth? Bunk. This right here is the culmination of indoctrination. Here I loaded up the five round mag and went to work on the steel plates. I should have used a larger mag. I have six targets down there. One, 100, 150, 200, 240, 270, and then after a reload, 300 yards. That's a 12 inch plate out there at 300. All first round hits. The average group size across 10 different ammo offerings was 2.41 MOA. At 300 yards, that's 7.5 inches. That is less than the length of my hand. That's a coyote shooting gun at 300 yards. That is accuracy I can live with. Yes, from a Mini-14. A 22-year-old Mini-14. The kids can use this for hunting, and I can throw it in the front seat of the side-by-side -side when putzing around the ranch of plum. Confidence has been built. Fun level achieved. I love it when a plan comes together. Thanks for watching. Take care.